Now, the Charlie Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Big Board Friday. Sponsored by Ohio Northern University. The best discoveries come from the unexpected. By the Toledo Clinic. Choose well, feel better. By PT Link Physical Therapy. Feel the difference and get relief now. And by Frickers, the home for fun, food, sports, and spirits. Now, here's Jordan Strack. Welcome into Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Big Board Friday. We are out at Genoa tonight where we had our game night live broadcast between the Comets and the Rossford Bulldogs. We'll have coverage from this game in just a little bit. But we start with our game of the week, a huge battle in the track between St. John's and Finley. This is certainly a measuring stick game for Finley and a very tough test for St. John's. Check out the new kicks here for the Finley Trojans. Finley alum Ben Roethlisberger donated these things last night. How cool is that? All right, second half, Finley up three here. They add to it. Max Roth to Ben Ireland in stride, a man to beat. He is gone for a 16 to six lead, but St. John's would answer back. Brady Lichtenberg goes to the corner of the end zone for Thomas Zyrus, using his height to go up and get it. That would pull St. John's within a score. Then Finley's first play after the Titans touchdown. Isaac James gets the rock, finds the hole, takes off all the way to the house. Trojans lead by 10. But Lichtenberg and company not going down without a fight. Fourth and goal, Brady would take off, and he is running. He would die for the pylon, a touchdown for St. John's, and then their defense would kick it into overdrive. Finley's Ireland would make a catch here, but the Titans would force a fumble. They would scoop it up right at midfield, and then they would charge down inside the 10, and Carson Toth would cap off the drive, putting St. John's back on top with a minute to go. So Finley, one final shot, under 30 seconds to play, taking a shot to the end zone. But it's picked off, sealing the deal for St. John's. They win a thriller, 25-24, and Christy Gopanis has more from Donau Stadium. Just when it looked like Finley was about to run away with this one, St. John's defense put their foot down. First, the turnover that led to a touchdown, and then the interception in the end zone to seal the deal. We, we have to have kids make those kind of plays in these kind of games, and that's the difference in the game. One kid making a play on either side, and we were fortunate enough tonight that it was our kid. Town all across the field, and um, when your defense is playing like this, you know, played, held in the three for the most, most of the game, and um, it's easy, you know, for them to come out here and ball out, especially when you know, we got guys going down, guys stepping up, making plays. It's easy to stay up and have confidence and, let, and trust in them to come to play. It was a really good uh, gut check for us to come back like that when we were down. Uh, they kind of had us in the ropes there, but for us to come back like that really uh, shows a lot about us. When you have Brady Lichtenberg and company on your offense, a comeback like that is never out of the question. Reporting from Finley tonight, Christy Kopanis, WTOL 11. All right, Christy, the battle for the Irish Knights, Central Catholic and St. Francis. Central has dominated this rivalry. Winners of this game, 16 straight years. Good start for the Irish. First drive of the game, Prentice Reason overtakes the handoff, finds a little crease, he's in. Remember, he had five touchdowns last week. Central's up 7-0, and they keep rolling. Bishop Vargas finds Caleb Carter up the seam. Big gainer here, carrying a defender. A huge gain in tonight territory, and that would set this up a few plays later. Vargas rolling out, finding Reason over along the sideline. He would walk in for the score. Irish hold on to win the Irish Knight for a 17th straight year. They win it 49 to 20. And our final stop in the track tonight, Fremont Ross down taking on Lima Senior. Little Giants working on offense. The handoff to LeBron's barn. He would weave his way through the middle, cut across to the left, find a little space at the sideline, eventually pushed out. But the Giants are in striking distance, and that would set up this. Caden Holmes keeps it, finds some space out right, and waltzes into the end zone. Fremont Ross gets a big win, 42 to 6. To the Northern Lakes League now. Perrysburg coming off their huge win last week at Anthony Wayne. Jackets home with Southview tonight, and that Perrysburg marching band putting on a great show before the game. Southview couldn't generate any offense. It's all Yellow Jackets in this one. Connor Wallenzak busted up the middle after a few nifty cuts and a missed tackle. He takes it 36 yards for a Perrysburg touchdown. And then it's Wallenzak again. This time bounces outside, goes in untouched from 10 yards out. And then, hey, let's make it a trifecta. The workhorse, Wallenzak, this time from five yards out. Perrysburg rolls 54 to nothing. Anthony Wayne trying to bounce back from their first NLL loss since 2016. Generals at 2-0 Bowling Green. Generals on offense. Garrett Pike back to pass here. 
He throws, but it's picked off by Michael Becker, and he has some space to bring it down. He does. Bobcats with a pick six, and it's tied up at 14. Second half, Bobcats driving. Eli Brown, the keeper, slips his way through a defense, Eli picks up Brown some again. good yardage there, and that would set up this. From the one-yard line, Brown on a quarterback sneak. BG hand the Generals their second straight loss, 28 to 27. Napoleon is 2-0. Cats making the short trip up 24 to Maumee tonight. That's Maumee cheerleader Serena Rabel recognized on senior night. Panthers had no answer on how to stop the Wildcats' potent offense. Zach Rosebrook lost a 33-yarder here to Nathan Brubaker to put Napoleon up 35-0. Next, Rosebrook. Flips the football out to Jarrett Gerdeman. Just admire how good of a run this is. Along the sideline, he might be stopped. No, going to make a sweet cut. And five Maumee tacklers chasing him into the end zone. Napoleon runs rough shot over Maumee. They win it 56 to nothing. And our final stop in the NLL. A couple teams searching for their first wins. Northview looking to right the ship on the home field. Northview up 14-7, but Springfield would answer right here. Give it to Brandon Langston on the pitch. Makes a little cut. Check out the power and effort at the goal line. Wills his way into the end zone for a two-yard score. It's tied at 14. But Northview would pull this one out. Aiden Schmidt bounces outside. His second score of the night. Northview wins it 28 to 21. All right, time for our first break here on Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Big Board Friday. When we come back, we are heading just down the road from here to Northwood. We have the incredible story of the Rangers' dynamic duo, Jay Moten and Damon Marks. They have overcome a ton in their lives, and they're dominating every game they play. That story is coming up next on Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Big Board Friday.